Hey folks, Todd here, Rudolph Optics. Leading the way tip of the day this week, we're going to talk about reticles. Uh, our reticles, we etch all of our reticles on the glass inside of our scope. Uh, we feel that that's the most permanent way to keep it from moving or adjusting or not adjusting. Uh, so this here is what we call a reticle. It's actually what you see inside your scope. Uh, we offer about six or seven different reticle patterns. They can get really, really complicated. We try to keep ours simplistic. Most of them are all done by real measurements, so a line from here to here actually means something. It's a measurement, it's either a minute of angle or two or three minutes of angle at 100 yards, so you know if you hit your target that the next line down, if you see where the bullet hit, you know that that's about three inches or whatever your particular situation is. Uh, I'm just kind of speaking off of just throwing the numbers out there. But if you ever hear somebody talk about elevation, that's gonna be the top adjustment on your scope up and down. That's going to move your reticle up and down here. If you talk about windage, it's generally on the right side of your scope or your optic, and that's going to move your reticle right and left. Um, we offer a T2 reticle, which you see here. It's real simple. It's got three lines of uh, elevation change. We can make adjustments on that scope. We use it in a lot of our hunter scopes. You scoot over to our two T3 reticle. That actually is our most popular reticle. It gives you a lot of stuff, but you can see real, real quick it gets it can get complicated if you don't know what you're doing, but it also can be very, very, very helpful if you know exactly what you're doing and you know where your gun hits. You can do use it for holdover, and what I mean by that is if I see my scope or I shoot a bullet and it hits way right and left, I can hold over and kind of make an adjustment on the fly. Also, you got your T4 reticle, which you see here. You can see all the adjustments on it. That's a reticle we use in our 4 to 16 by 42 model right now. Our T5 is new for 2016. That's actually going to be a scope uh, in our, four, our Garmin Hunter scopes, 4 to 16 and a 6 to 24 model. And you can see we just give you your elevation movement and keep it simple on the top. The good thing about all of our scopes that we use, <clears throat> we use a quarter minute of angle dot. And what's nice about that is you've heard the words aim small, miss small, probably somewhere. And as you zoom in on an animal, if you got a big, huge duplex in there or a big, huge dot, it's going to cover the whole animal and you're not going to be able to make a precise shot. The smaller the dot, the better for you when you're making long range shots at your target. So the T6 reticle you see on the screen here, this is actually going to be a good reticle for a first focal plane. We've got two MOA markings, north and south and east and west. Uh, that's going to be on a first focal plane. What I mean by that is it actually makes your reticles shrink and grow as you zoom in your scope. So I'll talk about that on another episode, what the difference between first and second focal plane scopes are. But uh, that reticle we use in a 6 to 24 first focal plane. So that's our leading the way tip of the day. Hope that helps out. Stay tuned. We'll see you next week.